The Dragon's Den entrepreneur Theo Pafitis is backing an initiative by a university to try and lend money to new businesses and use some of the money those businesses make to fund scholarships for students who want to study. Nothing quite like this has been tried before. And we can talk to the man who thought it up, the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Huddersfield, Bob Crying. Good morning. Good morning. So just explain for us a little bit how this scheme works. Uh, by all means. Um, the origin of it is with the Entrepreneurial University of the Year. And our two main customer bases, the students and the SMEs, were facing different problems. SMEs, you mean small and medium Small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, facing two different problems. The small and medium-sized enterprises are struggling to get access to funds. Our students are struggling with living costs. So I sent myself the challenge, if we're an entrepreneurial university, let's come up with a solution. And the solution, as all good solutions are, is very simple. Let's take the funds that we have in our endowment pot, and that's money that's donated to the university, lend it to the small and medium-sized enterprises, use the interest that's generated to support student scholarships to help them with their living costs. So that was the plan, and the vehicle to actually do this is through a partnership that we've established with a, a, a very entrepreneurial company called Funding Circle. OK, that's a, that's a peer-to-peer lender, isn't it? So but, in a way, you're sidestepping the banks by using that. Absolutely, because the key message we were getting from the SMEs, uh, the small and medium-sized enterprises, is they're finding it very, very difficult to borrow money via the banks. OK, but there's part, part of the reason for that is that, uh, you know, Mark Carney and the others who are in favour of financial stability... Uh, want banks to consolidate and not to take too many risks. Doesn't this mean that you as a university will be taking risks with your money that the banks would shy away from? Well, two points. Uh, First of all, the initial tranche of money um, is by two donors, one of them being me and the other being a very good friend of the university, a multimillionaire, Graham Leslie. This is your own money, then? It's my own money and the money of Graham Leslie. It's a partnership between us for this initial tranche that we're putting in. So you're confident you can make a good return? Uh, for the university, yes. Right. Uh, and if I just explain how the risk is mitigated... Briefly, if you would, sure. Yeah, the, the money is actually shared across many companies and each company is credit-checked in advance to mitigate against risk. Right, so you're confident that that way your money is safe and you'll be able to get more money to fund students going through your university? Uh, I think my confidence is demonstrated by the fact I've put my own money in. No better voter confidence than that. Thank you, Bob Cryan there from the University of Huddersfield. That's it from Wake Up to Money for this morning. We're both back in Five Live Breakfast, coming up in just a few seconds. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.